Hello, my name is Jack Dolls, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to bring you a video on welding two inch pipes, Schedule 40, TIG all the way out in the 6G position. So let's talk a little bit about it. I've got my two inch set up in my, in my tacking tray here, uh, and that's going to help me line my pipe up the proper way. I'm going to make sure I got a nice 1 8 inch gap so where I can get an, uh, the, the, the wire to go in there the proper way. And then I've got my machine set up. I've got it set up on DC negative. I'm going to run around 90 on the uh, putting in the root. And so uh, we're going to get right into putting in the root. First, uh, make sure I got my TIG rig all set up. Make sure you got your pipe all cleaned and prepped and everything clean on the inside and outside. Once you have all the things, all your little checkoffs, make sure everything's clean and right and set up the proper way, then you can get right into putting the tacks in there. So I'm going to run my stick out a little bit longer when I'm putting in my tacks. There's a couple ways of doing that. You know, you could A, either put it in there like so and try to rock it back and forth and put the tack in. I'm personally actually going to try to hold it like a pencil and freehand it in there myself and put my tacks. So let me show you how I hold it. I actually grab it like so, okay? Let me show you again. I come up and I grab it like this, okay? And then I'm going to rest my hand on the pipe. That's where I got the little pad of glove. Rest my hand, bring my wire up in here. And I'm just going to strike it up, and I'm just going to freehand right over the top of putting my tack in. Okay, because I don't want to rest it inside the pipe whenever you're putting your first tack. It might spread your pipe apart. So I like to freehand it, just hold it right over the top like a pencil, make sure I get that first tack in there good and solid. All right, so let's go right into putting some tacks in. All right, let's put our first tack in. You ready? Make sure our gas is on, everything's right. Here we go. Once you make your tack, okay, what I did is also I broke my arc. I ran up the side of my bevel. Either way, it's up to you. It's really your preference. And then I bent the wire over. Well, why did I do that? Well, what I did is I, whenever you break your arc up the side of the pipe, you've eliminated the fisheye out of the middle. Also, by leaving the wire in, I didn't create a big keyhole by removing the wire. I left my wire in there. I bent it over. Once it cools, you can see how easy it is. It just snaps right off. And now it doesn't leave me with a big keyhole there. And I've gotten rid of my fisheye. So let's do this again so you can see it another time. Okay, here we go, watch your eyes. Ran my wire up my bevel, bent my wire over. Like I say, once it cools, snaps right off. Very simple. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish up these tacks here so we can get started. All right. Okay, just like that. Snap the wire, snap the rod up, uh, the wire up the rod, bend the rod over. Nice, clean, easy, comes right off. Nothing to it. Okay, so now we've got our pipe all tacked up. It's ready to go. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get everything all cleaned up, get it tacked in the 6G position, and then we'll get started on our welding. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. So what we've done now is we've gotten our pipe all tacked up in the 6G position. I went ahead and uh, grounded all my tacks. And so first I want to walk you through on how to set up your body and move around the right or left side with your right or left hand. I know a lot of the students here at the school, you know, with, their, with the right hand students, they complain about going up the right side, that hurts their side. Well, I'm going to show you the position, I'm going to show you how to do this, and then we're actually going to make the weld. So how I set up, how I do this. So I put my right leg forward and my left leg back, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean my weight back onto my left leg. That extends my right arms out to where I can bring my right arm up underneath here, I can bring my wire in from over the top, and then all I gotta do is just rock it back and forth as I'm going around my pipe. As I come up my pipe, I'm gonna transition from off my left leg, my weight from off my left leg onto my right leg, and bring it up to me. So I'm gonna bring my left leg up to my right leg, 
and that allows me now to stand up nice and smooth, nice and easy. I can come right over the top of it and make the weld. So let's do this one more time. Let's go back through it. Right leg forward, left leg back. You can see how I'm standing a little bit. Got it. my right leg forward, left leg back. I'm leaning my weight on my back left leg, extending my right arms, leaning over. Yes, it does hurt just a little bit on your side, but you'll be fine. And then you just go right on up the pipe as you're going around, bring your weight up to your right foot, move your left foot over, bring your step out, and now you're up on top nice and smooth. Let's go through the left side real quick. On down the left side, it's a lot like a 2G, okay? All I'm gonna do is set up like I'm gonna do, basically like a 2G, get down here, bring my wire in from the side here, just rocking it back and forth, on around, and then we'll kind of stand up as we go around the pipe. So left side much easier compared to the right side. So let's, we've talked about it, and now let's actually show you some welding. Let's get our body in position. Let's get in everything in here. We got it all set up, we're in place. All right, here we go. Because I'm going around, starting to come walk up the side. Make sure I get my rod up in there. Oh, almost made a mistake there. Make sure you get it nice and tight. Get good fusion. Oh. And just like that, that's how you put a root in on the right side. So now we're going to run up the left side here. And so uh, I'll get down it like so. I'll make sure everything's all set up, ready to rock and roll. And like I said, it's a lot like a 2G. I've got everything in place. I'm gonna strike up here and uh, get right into it. So here we go. To get in there, now we're gonna stand on up and keep this baby moving. All right, and now we've got our TIG root in there. Okay, and make sure whenever you stop, anytime you're doing the route or the fill, the hot pass, make sure anytime you're stopping that you always take the tungsten, walk it down into the bevel, walk it out. Don't just stop right in the middle because it's going to leave a pinhole, fish eye, and uh, that could cause you to fail x-ray and bend tests and things like that. So always, always, when you're putting your tacks, your roots, your hot pass, make sure when you get ready to stop, you walk it down into the bevel, then you break your arc. Okay? Okay. So welcome back. I've got the root in there. Everything's looking good. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, put the fill passes in, the hot passes in the fill passes. So uh, I'm going to weld it out. It's going to take a few minutes here, but uh, I'm going to move it quickly as possible. And I'm going to talk to you as we do each pass. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the hot pass. Okay, so now we've got our hot pass in. We're going to continue on with our fill pass. Um, so let's keep going. Let's get this baby filled up.
Mars link, yes, okay. So we've got the fill all done, so now it's time to put the last uh, couple beads on here. We're going to put our cap pass on. So uh, here we go as we finish this up. Our 6G 2-inch Schedule 40 TIG all the way out. So we're back, we've got our one cap bead on. We're gonna finish this up and go ahead and put our uh, last cap pass on to finish off this 6G two inch TIG all the way out schedule 40 pipe, okay? So let's finish this up. And now we have welded out our 6G 2 inch TIG all the way out schedule 40 all with the 70S-6 wire. And we've got a nice pretty bead on there. I hope y'all can see it. Like I say, it's easy to be done just with a little time and practice. 
you can make these welds too and go out and make that big money. Thanks for watching. Uh, looking forward to hearing about your comments and feedback. And if you need some help, please contact us at Tulsa Welding School. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.